Hey guys, Chad with Pure Media Systems. Today we're down in Dallas. We're doing a full uh, lawn system. Rack is networking. Uh, we're mounting this uh, XBR uh, 900F. This is the 75 inch X900F from Sony. Uh, and here we're actually doing a uh, Sonos surround sound system. Uh, we're going to be putting mounting the TV on the wall right here. Um, putting uh, some Philips Hue bias sliding behind the screen as well as behind the, the credenza here. Uh, we're going to be putting a an access point over there um, behind the cadenza. We're actually putting uh, a, an Elan 8-inch touch panel right here as well. Uh, he's got Ecobee, which can be integrating, as well as Lutron lighting. All this is going to be controlled through the uh, Elan interface. Um, he's going to be having uh, smart shades all along here, as well as in the master bedroom. Uh, we're going to be doing a doorbird uh, doorbell for the uh, for the front uh, for the front doorbell uh, that can integrate the lawn as well. We're also going to be doing some quick set Z-Wave door locks. So we're going to show you the process along the way. We're going to be updating his rack uh, and finishing everything else out. Yes. All right, guys. So here's the customer's rack. He already uh, had this built out um, mostly for his uh, needs. He stripped a lot of pieces out. Um, in here, it's a pretty large rack uh, or deep rack, I should say. There's plenty of room for us, so we're going to be putting a an Arachnus, the 310RT4L2W switch in here. Uh, this is their rack mountable switch. Uh, it's got Oversee fully incorporated into it, or Oversee Pro, I should say, um, as well as any of their Oversee uh, functionality. It allows for some remote, remote management self-healing capabilities there's all sorts of things we can program in here um, allows for off-site management for both the integrator as well as the um, the homeowner so i'm going to go ahead and box this here and show you all right so you can see we've got the arachnus router here it's got all your information on the front uh, you can of course uh, put the beers on it for the rack on the back you've got uh, ac power usb you actually have four LAN ports um, as well as two WAN, so you can have fallover and things like that for multiple ISPs. So we're going to get this on the rack and everything set up. All right, guys, so you've got the rack ears. Uh, they come with two rack ears, and it, uh, it's going to go right into the points here. If you go on the front or the back, just depends on how you want it mounted in here. We want everything lined up nicely in the front, so we're going to line up just like this, and the points will line up four points you can have it anywhere on here there's several different uh, it's very versatile so that you can have it um, lined up in the center if you want it to slide a little bit have it biased in any direction you can do that we're going to take our screwdriver and the little screws and screw it right in so we've got our rack gears just like this you can see they can go on any point here uh, everything lines up very nicely and we'll get it on the rack now all right, guys, so we're, uh, this particular rack uses cage nuts, so we're fitting them uh, in here right now uh, so we can be able to screw in the, the, uh, so we can screw in the bolts easier, or the screws easier here. All right, guys. So, I uh, this is why we test everything before we plug everything and make sure we're good to go. Even if even if uh, it's pre-terminated uh, from builders or other companies, we always check it because out of all the cables uh, that are in this house, only one of them have worked. Um, I want to say about eight cables. So, I've had to re-terminate most of them already. I'm going to have to do a couple more here, but I wanted to show you something. So, in the panel, I couldn't find. Uh, when I was the only cable that was left, it goes to this bedroom, makes sense, it's labeled to be here. 
and I went to go test it and it said that there was nothing plugged into it because you know the other end of the testers so we uh, what I what I have done is uh, when I went to tone it from here because that's the easiest thing to do is you grab the toner you turn change it to tone and uh, it sends a tone out and if you turn on the toner it sends a tone so you can see this is it you see how strong the signal is it's on eight there so that's the strongest it's going to be we're going to turn that off so it doesn't make noise but basically um i went to the panel couldn't find anything so what i've done uh something's kind of strange so um makes me believe there's nothing there so on the tester here we can actually go and it'll discover so hopefully this shows but basically it's showing only 16.3 feet we can even get in a little bit more information Basically, you know, averaging around 16 and a half feet there, that basically um, it's maybe getting to right about here. So somewhere in this, uh, in the walls, this cable got chewed, cut, something somewhere along the lines. Unfortunately, there's literally no attic in this house. Um, this is all roof line here. You can see even the air ducts are not going through anything. This channel here is literally that's that's where the air duct is going this is the roof line just like this whole thing this whole house here so even in the bedroom same thing you've got the same chase all along here for the air ducts so there's uh of course we're gonna have to figure something out here but um it proves to be difficult luckily this is a spare bedroom that really has no plans of using right now so um not the end of the world but it's still a challenge we have to overcome all right, guys, so you can see what I'm talking about. We're going to hit test. We've got um, the cable labeled office here, which goes to the office. So you can see it uh, is not testing successfully. We want to get a little more information. And you can actually see that 8 is broken, meaning that uh, there, it's not successfully terminated. So we're going to get back out of it. We want to see exactly where it's at. So we can see that it's saying it's at 0 feet, meaning um, all the other... Uh, pairs of cables are at least those are going to successfully all the way down so we know that um, it's a termination on this end so we know which end to uh, test first and re-terminate we know for sure it's on this end so we're going to start here um, and uh, and re-terminate this cable uh, we've already had to do that to uh, all these cables already here so uh, we're going to keep going at it all right, so we got all the cables re-terminated and we're testing it now, we're testing the last one. You can see we've got it certified for gigabit. Uh, we can see signal performance. We can see uh, really everything we need to. We can actually see the length of the runs and everything else. Uh, on to the next step. All right, guys, so we've got the eight port PoE switch here. This is the Arachnus uh, 210SWR8 PoE. So all eight ports can be PoE. <laughs> everything uh, tidied up and bundled in here nicely um, this is going to uh, come in here and we'll put the the panel right back on top here uh, so everything is covered up <clears throat> uh, but we were able to re-terminate all the cables since they were all terminated poorly we've got a ups here so that every component of the network is going to be on a battery backup so that uh, he can do this here and he's even got a place to uh, usb port that he can charge his phone or other devices if he needs to in the future if there's a power outage We've got everything here we're gonna get the rest of the network set up hey okay, guys so uh, just uh, cut this loose I'm uh, gonna be replacing the existing doorbell with the doorbird this is the stainless steel finish doorbird uh, IP video door station so we're gonna be putting this in so we can integrate it, it can be used on the doorbird app or the uh, a wand interface as well Alright guys, so we've taken the, the back plate off this. There's a security screw under here. We take the back plate off and we fitted the uh, weather seal grommet in here. We're going to fit the, uh, unfortunately there's not a lot of slack here on the cable, so we're going to fit the, uh, without strip or, uh, cutting these further, we're going to, might have to pull the grommet out, so that we can fit these through here.
get all nice in there. And this uh, goes up like that. And then the screw goes in the bottom? Yep. Okay. It's supposed to come down. To, there we go. So now it's a level on there. So the kit comes with its own screwdriver with the security screwdriver. And you see the inside the screw has a little nipple inside of it. So it goes like this. And right in the bottom. We're going to line up. And tighten it up. So, see right here, this is where the screw goes. Uh, we're, for the back patio here, we're going to be doing a uh, camera right up here in the corner, right here. Uh, we're going to be using uh, the Luma 510 dome camera, um, and we're going to be putting up the uh, a uh, wall mount here just like this. So we're going to put that up in, in the corner there and have that mounted. We're going to run the cable in, what we're going to have to do here. Um, we're just going to go right through the wall, um, and we're going to come out in the corner. We're going to come down, stapling everything nice and tidy right along the baseboard, and we're going to have a PoE switch right here. Uh, we already have the, the uh, Rackness 700 series access point there, so we're going to um, just have some more uh, devices here. A customer has a Sonos Play 3 up behind the camera there as well. So we're going to get to work with that uh, and show you the process. So we've got our height about where we want it. We're going to uh, check where the studs are so we can go straight through the wall for our uh, Ethernet cable for the camera. So we're way over here, and we're, we should be good all the way over here. It should be a standard stud, so we probably have about an inch uh, to come in there. So we're going to come as far over as we can and go straight through the wall. What it's going to look like on the other side, we know that we want the camera to show you. We want, on the other side, we're going to have this mounted here. Moving this down a little bit so we can see. So we're going to have this mounted on the other side here. Uh, and on the back here, uh, we can take this cap off and uh, go straight through from the other side. So um, we just need an approximate height. Basically, we want the camera to be 89 inches bottom of the camera here so we can see underneath the overhang outside. What we're going to do, we've got that marked here. So we're going to put our magnet spot here, uh, right on the other side. This sticks right in the wall, and that'll help us figure out where we want to go. The way that works is we have another piece on the other side here that uh, will help us locate exactly where we need to be. It's accurate within about an inch uh, through stone, brick, uh, etc. So we're going to take it outside and show you how it works. All right, so we've got our uh, other end of our magnet spot here. We can turn it on and it'll locate the beep. And then the other side of the arrows, uh, it, they will all light up showing, let me turn the beeping off, and they'll light up showing exactly where we are. I'll get a close up of that here so you can see what we're doing. So you can move it around here. Maybe hard to see with the sunlight. Let me turn the beeping off. So maybe hard to see with the sunlight here. But you can see how all four of the lights are lit up. It means that we're really close. We can go mark it right through the center there and uh, know exactly where we're going. All right, so now that we have our location marked here, we're going to lock, lock up our, our uh, back box for our piece, or uh, for our wall mount for the camera so that we can make sure that uh, everything fits in where we need it to before we start drilling any holes. <laughs> tape but electrical tape doesn't uh, it's not as uh, versatile it, it is strong uh, but uh, it leaves a gummy uh, gumminess stickiness to whatever you tape it on especially when it's going through the heat uh, it's not as easy to uh, break off in attics or in walls when you're done with it um, it is still nice and strong uh, you just put a couple layers on it but it's easy to work with when you're in an attic or just in general um, and again it, you can write on it easily uh, you know, for labeling, whatever you're doing, it just makes it's a nice, uh, nice thing to work with here. So we're going to 
put this through here. And what we're going to do is on the other side, we're going to use a magnet on the other side and pull it in that way. All right, so we've got our cable through. We use magnets. We take the magnet here to the end. We're able to pull it all through. Uh, we're going to go and screw the, uh, drill the holes now so we can uh, mount the back box uh, for our wall mount and get all that uh, hung. So you can see what we've done here. Uh, we've added in the uh, Arachnus. This is the AN 210 SWR P8 PO8. This is the rear uh, eight port switch. This is all PoE ports. Um, come around the back here. You can see we've um, got a few different things plugged in. But what we've done is got the cable nicely stapled along the uh, baseboard here, right up in the corner and nicely going out uh, through hole in the wall there. What we've done, come around to the outside, we've got the uh, camera perfectly positioned on the wall mount here. Uh, this is just a great, it gets it out from uh, away from the gutter um, and gets it underneath the uh, overhang here so they can get a full uh, view of the backyard. Um, covers everything, it's got a great view even with the sun coming in here right now. Um, this is a zoom camera. It is not the pan tilt zoom, uh, but it is a full zoom camera. So uh, now we're going to go to the front, mount the uh, cable for, or mount the camera underneath uh, the overhang uh, above the driveway and the garage so we can get all that done. install the Awan ITP8, the 8 inch uh, touch panel. We've already mocked it up and seen where we want it. We know that we want the center root here and the center this way. So we can uh, go ahead and uh, cut the hole, put the game box in and run the cable. So we're, it's going to be end up looking right about like this. got the touch panel in. Uh, I've got a few more things to configure in the Elan system, but uh, we've got the touch panel. This is the 8-inch touch panel. Um, it's got a lot of features with things like a flyout where you can set favorite buttons. It also has facial recognition where uh, this flyout can be customized based on you know facial recognition to who walks up to it. Uh, but you can come in here and do security uh, for door locks. You can do climate control. Uh, you can do video cameras, etc. So uh, we actually ran everything we had to do again because there is no attic 
As you can see, that's just the chase for the duct work. Uh, we actually wired everything, came down, and you can barely see it. Uh, came through a small little hole in the wall and stapled the cable all the way around and plugged it right into the uh, wall plate there, or the wall port there, uh, which is going back to a PO PoE switch in the network panel. guys we finished up here give you a walk through of everything we did uh, so in the living room up here uh, we mounted the uh, Sony XBR 75 X 900 F uh, I've got the Sony uh, Sonos play bar along with the Sonos sub and he's got uh, two play ones here for uh, the surrounds these are the new uh, Sonos Play One, Sonos One, and Sonos One SL uh, stands. Um, these are from Sonos. They are making their own stands now. Uh, very nice, um, very nice design. They're stable and nice and sturdy uh, design. Uh, of course, we are dealers for Sonos, so if you're wanting um, products like this, let us know. We can uh, have them delivered to you. Uh, this whole room, actually the whole home is being controlled by a lawn. Uh, in this room, we've got the HR10 remote here. This is a single zone remote. Um, uh, we've got the whole system here. He's uh, using an Apple TV. Um, in this, in the cabinet down here, give you a walkthrough. We've got the all the Sonos pieces. Um, we've got uh, our eight-port PoE switch from Arachnus, Apple TV. We've got the Lutron bridge, the uh, Sonos uh, bridge. We've got the Arachnus 700 series. Um, access point we have a, a UPS down here as well uh, everything is being controlled over IP uh, what we actually did as well uh, we've installed several cameras here um, like I've been saying all along in the um, uh, install process there's no attic there's no crawl space there's nothing here so we had to get creative um, of how to get uh, cameras and everything hooked up so uh, one thing we've got here we've stapled the cable along you really can't see it at all from any appreciable distance away uh, we've got the cable coming along here and I put in a wall plate come across here show you what uh, it looks like out here had to get again had to get a little creative with it so we've got the um, cable coming out here we've got it sealed up and just tacked along to keep it out of the weather and coming down here so we've got um, show you that when we get downstairs but uh, that way it's uh, just above the um, the the ground so that it won't get stuck in the water there uh if we come inside show you the hr10 remote here so uh, you can see it's set apple tv wakes up the tv um we can uh control really everything here um this is, he's just using an apple tv for streaming but 
the remote controls everything. If he had a Roku in here, it would control the Roku, cable boxes, satellite boxes, Blu-ray players. Uh, this will do everything. Um, basically, if you wanted to change, you hit the menu button and Roku would be here. Tap Roku and it shows right up. We'll have a better walkthrough um, with another system that has more sources, but he just wanted um, the uh, Apple TV uh, for in here because all he's doing is streaming. Um, right here, we've got the Alon touch panel. Uh, this is the new 8-inch touch panel here. It has facial recognition, actually even has um, uh, Alexa uh, built into it, so it's an Alexa device. Um, he is not using that functionality, uh, but it is possible. Um, he has door locks um, being controlled by here, climate. Uh, we've got lighting loads, um, made custom touch screens for him so he can... Um, do really whatever he wants so he's um, we want to turn everything off we just tap all off and it'll turn off all the loads being controlled by this we we'll turn everything on controls everything that has been controlled on uh, the intelligent Lutron uh, dimmers here uh, we can just cycle through go to his master suite uh, we can go to uh, downstairs as well as controlling all the shades um, we're, we've integrated the Sophie, uh shades with these um, Sanfi does not give two-way feedback, so it just gives up and down, basically. He can uh, have the shades in the bedroom go up, so we can come in here and turn the light on, and you see the shades rising right here on the left and right side. Um, the other uh, popular option is to use Lutron shades. Uh, those do give two-way feedback. You know exactly what percentage the uh, lights are at. Um, or uh, excuse me, the shades, whether up and down, you can see the two-way feedback. This just sends commands. Um, still a perfectly good option, uh, Lutron. Uh, you get what you pay for. Lutron is a little bit more expensive, but it does give you a lot more functionality. Uh, for the touch panel, we actually ran a cable down the wall here. Um, on the other side, the touch panel is basically in the cavity right here. We ran down and came out a little hole right at the bottom and again stapled along to a uh, wall plate that's over here that was pre-wired um, luckily there was um, several uh, pre-wired for ethernet in the home um, so we were able to utilize that so again we're going to go ahead and close the shades for him um, get a little more what this can do this can control um, sonos apple tv etc so um, we're going to do the all off here and it, uh, probably too fast, but it went ahead and turned the so uh, TV and Sonos and everything off here. We can pull up video cameras so we can see all of his cameras here as well. Uh, we can pull up and see the stairwell, you know, lots of different options with what we're doing here. Um, this touch panel does have a camera built in, like I said, so you can actually, if you're using uh, the mobile app or another touch screen in the house uh, or the desktop app, you can actually see what this camera sees as well. Uh, full intercom, so if we want to pull up, we're using Doorbird here, if we want to pull up the Doorbird, comes up that fast. So, um, of course, can do communication and everything through that there. Um, you can call other um, devices, uh, or stations, if you had other touch screens, touch panels, etc. Uh, it'll call those as well. Um, so we can do video calls, audio calls, or just even paging. Uh, these work well. Um, you can have these in secondary rooms, kids' rooms, offices. If you need help, you just hit the uh, page icon. You can just tap, um, you can do a group and do all, and you can do page. And it pages all the uh, stations around. Um, we've, we've gone ahead and um, we're doing some customization for him as well. So we've got a user page here just so we can have his shades on that home screen. This can go ahead and you can integrate in um, security systems, you can integrate uh, more lights, different shades, you can do irrigation, pool controls, all sorts of different uh, things with these products. Um, so in this room we actually have um, a camera over the stairwell here um, that is being wired through into a uh, PoE switch in, in the closet in there. Come downstairs, uh, we've got down at the front door, have the quick set 914 uh, this is the contemporary look this is the 10 button keypad here this is controlled as I showed you through um, the lawn interface as well uh, you can have custom codes for um, uh, your 
uh, cleaning people, you can have them for um, dog sitters, dog walkers, however you, uh, really whatever you want. And you can, let's say you have four locks in the house, you've got them on different doors. You can even give your uh, dog sitter um, access to just the front door during certain times or your cleaning crew access to just the garage door at um, a certain day at a certain time and they can't come in any other time. So there's lots of options and customization. Uh, security is, is a very strong point of Elan. Um, back through here, we've got um, uh, one more, turn on some lights in here, one more camera in here um, around the back. So what we had to do here again, uh, we've got another PoE switch right here. Uh, we had to come up and go right up through uh, another small hole right there so that uh, we can get a camera for his backyard. And right out here, we've got the can see it. it is a little dark outside but we've got uh, the um, another 510 uh, dome camera out here with the wall mount to cover his full backyard go ahead and show you the last camera out here oh we've got two more devices out here as well uh, we of course um, did all of his networking we've got a full arachnus system here um, we have a doorbird so like I showed you, this is um, being controlled through the uh, Elan system. And we'll show you what that looks like as well. Uh, but we've, the other camera is right up here. So uh, we've got that. He's covering his garage. You can see what is in his garage uh, or um, if his garage door is open or closed and see if he has packages at his front porch. So if we hit the uh, doorbell here, it actually rings touch panels or really whatever um, you can ring your phone just like uh, any other of the smart doorbells and it shows up right here and really easily can pull it up and answer and you can turn your microphone on and on and off change volume etc um, you can see just how fast that comes up uh, you can compare that to some other uh, consumer grade doorbell systems uh, but really like to use those with the alarm systems um, Really, I usually suggest to have a uh, touch panel like this in uh, your master bedrooms as a starting point. Uh, reason being, it's something you can pull up, answer the door uh, without ever taking your phone, uh, taking your phone out of your pocket, looking for your phone. If you want to turn off lights, uh, close doors, lock up for the night, set your security system, you can do all of that from a touch panel in your master bedroom. You don't ever have to actually go anywhere, pull out your phone. Uh, it is just makes things much more simple for a, a nice, secure home. Of course, uh, we are Premier Media Systems. If you want a system like this, don't hesitate to give us a call at uh, 972-905-0556 or email sales at puremediasystems.com. I'll have that uh, right down here at the bottom as well. Uh, we are in the Dallas area. Uh, we can ship nationwide. And um, please give us a call for um, any services or anything we can help with. Um, we are authorized dealers for all of the products um, that you've seen in these videos, uh, as well as many more. Uh, if you have any questions, please don't have it, hesitate to give us a call. Again, it's 972-905-0556 or sales at puremediasystems.com. Thanks and have a great day.